Yo, it's Smallmouth Crusher. On behalf of Monster Bass, I want to make a quick video about fishing in the fall and specifically targeting rock. So any type of bank or any type of underwater rock this time of year can be really special. I'm going to go over the reasons why and hopefully catch a few fish. That's all coming up. Got him. Good. Well, got the first fish of the day. That's a good fish. I guess it's good for here. Good for here. There we go. Caught this guy on the Beast Coast open water sniper jig. It's not bad. Right up on that rock. That's a good fish for doing that. Nice small mouth. So I caught him off of this rock here. So there's a deep ditch here, and this is all chunk rock through here. And that's what he was sitting on. Now as the day goes on, the water warms up slightly. This is where they're gonna really be positioned on this chunk rock. So it's really important in the fall to focus on any type of rock like this on the bank. So obviously the, the rocky banks will provide cover and places to ambush bait fish and crayfish for the bass. But as you can see in days like this, when the sun beats down on it, it'll actually retain and hold heat a lot better. So that water temp might be just a degree or two higher and will oftentimes you'll find some more of the active fish will be relating to those rocks. Now fishing rocks, as you can see here, I had a little hung, hang up with my bait. You're going to get snagged depending on the baits that you use. That just comes with fishing that type of rock. A lot of this rock in this particular river we were fishing was along the bank, but there was some underwater rock that also provided current breaks and places for these fish to set up and feed. Now today was really uh, one of the first colder days of the year and water temps are dropping and so it wasn't the greatest fishing although every fish we caught was relating to rocks somehow yep yeah there we go another one so another one off this rocky bank the rock actually extends a little bit out here and we're able to catch another decent smallmouth bows. These aren't going to be the giant smallmouth of the Great Lakes. I mean, we're in a inland body of water fishing river system. That's a decent smallmouth for here. So here's another tip, guys. When you're fishing any type of rock bank, you see this wood here that comes out. Lay downs and with the rock and the wood meet. Oftentimes, that's where you'll find some of these fish as well. There we go. Oh, this feels like a good one here, guys. Good spot, man. Ain't too bad. Just strong. They fooled me. But again, the deal is off of this rock here. Now, there's a variety of baits to fish areas that have this kind of rock, especially... Uh, late in the year, uh, here I'm rigging up just a three-inch hula grub. So it's just a twin-tail grub with plastic skirt coming out of the head in a size eighth ounce jig head on that. Well, it has been a little tough today, but all the fish we've been catching have been relating to that, that rock. Not a lot of big fish. I mean, we have, we probably caught 15 or so today, but no real giants. So a couple key baits when you're fishing rock. In the fall, a Ned rig with any type of soft plastic that you have confidence in. Go as light as possible. You want to be able to work it around that rock without getting hung up as much. I mean, you're still going to lose baits. Whenever you're fishing rock, you're going to get hung up. But I like to use a braid to a fluorocarbon leader with all my baits that are bottom contact baits. So Ned rigs, a tube would work, an exposed hook tube or even a Texas rig tube, any type of finesse worm shaky heads baits like that will do a lot of a lot of damage you can also think outside the box a little bit 
You can certainly throw a swim bait along rocks, especially in the fall. A lot of the bait's going to be utilizing that rock, just like the smallmouth hour, to get out of the current or perhaps to feed. Spinner baits, jerk baits, crank baits, it really depends on the day, the mood of the fish. Today, these fish are not chasing and they're barely biting our bottom baits. So. We're going to continue to throw a Ned rig and work a few more of these rocky shorelines, see if we can locate a few more fish. So the bite died later on in the afternoon here, uh, but the next day I went out and fished some deeper rock. Basically, rock that was in 14 to 20 feet of water offshore, and there were some big schools of smallmouth that moved up on these rocks to actually feed. And uh, here's some footage of that day. Some true quality smallmouth. Oh. Good fish. That's what they look like, Travis. That one. And they love that rock. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Monster Bass YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, head on over to my channel, Smallmouth Crush. And we'll show you this magical 30 plus pound day of smallmouth fishing we had recently. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.